Now please do note, everything said in this video is of my own opinion. I'm not trying to preach to people or say that other people are doing wrong. All I'm trying to do is trying to convey what I believe about software morality, about licensing, software patents, the GCHQ and the NSA and about your data and how precious it really is. These ones and noughts run the world. We now know that computers run everything from certain aspects of your car, all types of machinery, the banking system and so forth. Computers are very, very important. And why are they important? Because they hold data. Data is valuable. So we need to make sure that we have the right perspectives as programmers, but also we need to take a look at this industry and we need to decide and this is personally for you, whether you agree or don't agree with certain aspects of the programming industry. Now, as a software developer, you have three major license categories to choose from. Now, do note these are just license categories. There are many different types of licenses, but I'm not a lawyer and there are all different kinds of licenses. But we can explain all of these different licenses and we can place them in three different categories. They are Libra then you have open source and then you have proprietary. So on one end of the scale, Libra is completely open and is liberty based. And the other side of it is proprietary and completely locked down. Now, in my own personal opinion, I believe software is your property. When you write a program, it's recognized under law as your property. And I do believe that you should be able to distribute your software under whatever license you would like. But I love the Libra software license. I think it's fantastic and it's actually come from the guy called Richard Stallman and if you want to take a look at his TED talk please do. It explains Libra software and the principles behind it and he's the guy behind the GNU project which is the foundation for the GNU slash Linux operating system that is distributed on billions of devices across the world. So Libra software can be distributed commercially or it can be given away for free as gratis. Many people make the mistake that Libra software cannot be sold. There can be no commercial gain. This is wrong. Libra software can be sold. However, Libra software must provide a copy of the source code so people can change it and modify it as they see fit. It also allows you to distribute the software as is or with modification. So I can then hand it out to my friends and have as many copies as I like. And you can distribute the software commercially or gratis again. So I can make copies of my Libra software and I can sell them to my friends or I can give them away for free. It's entirely up to me. However, there is only one string attached. So you can modify it, you can change it and you can distribute it. But the terms and conditions are when you distribute it either commercially or free, you must keep the license intact. So the rights and the freedoms that you have been given under the Libra software must be passed on to everybody else that you've distributed the software. So the original source, I download it and then I distribute it. All these copies are under the same license. Wherever the Libra software goes, the Libra license must go with it. Next up, we have open source and you can look at open source as a little bit of a middle ground. We don't want to fully lock it down like proprietary, but we don't want it fully open like the Libra software. Open source says that when you distribute it, there are stipulations. Also, it may actually stop you from making derivative works and it may actually stop you from distributing this open source code. So, with the open source side of things, it's very conditional. I recommend you take a look at the Creative Commons and the different aspects of the license, such as being able to distribute it commercially or not, and being able to say, if you distribute it, I want attribution or not. So open source is a bit of a compromise. It's a mixture between some of the Libra principles, but also some of the proprietary principles as well. So if you don't want to go fully open like Libra, open source is better for you. However, on the opposite end of the scale, you have proprietary. Proprietary is locked down. Usually this is like an EULA license. This type of license means that 
we own the rights and we're just going to let you use the software but you're not able to look at the source code you are not allowed to modify the source code you're not allowed to change it and you're not allowed to redistribute our software under any circumstances whatsoever it's literally here's your copy you get to use it but it's our property still so you're not going to take that and redistribute it to the world so you have all of these different licenses and as I said I love the Libra license it's so flexible it's so free and I love that that's what computing has been based on however I'm not really a full-on stallman because I do know that people invest their time they invest their money into making great products and that's also including you know music and films and other things like that that again is a type of software and so sometimes you do want to lock it down you don't want people to just redistribute what you're doing so I do believe that you should have a choice a right to say to yourself what should I distribute my software under and I don't believe that you should be locked into if you don't use Libra software then you're some kind of evil corporate I don't believe that I just think you have the right to choose.